Pink Floyd medal. Now, I probably prefer Pink Floyd before Dark Side of the Moon. I was actually a bit disappointed by Dark Side of the Moon. And of all the albums that came before Dark Side of the Moon, this was probably the most impressive. This was the one where I think they peaked. The standout, it's got two, two of my favourite Pink Floyd numbers on it. On one side, we've, it starts with uh, one of these days, which is one of these things. They, they've used it in other things, but they use this bass line that goes dum -ka -da -ka -da -dum -ka -da. And then these guitars come in, slide guitars, building up, changing keys, effects, echoes, a strange voice comes in, drum fills, and it builds up to an almighty climax. Um, on the other side, we have echoes. Now this is a 20 minute song. It's not like one of these prog pieces divided into bits. This is a one song that takes 20 minutes. And it has a long intro. The verse is long. The chorus is long. And there's a big riff that's quite long and an instrumental section which builds up and up and up until you go back into the return of the song with the long verse, the long chorus and the big riff. And it's just amazing, I think. Uh, the other tracks on the album, there's a, um, a blues song which uh, features a howling dog. There's a sort of jazzy type thing, which is it's quite impressive, I suppose, that they could do that, a jazzy type thing. Uh, there's a song called Pillar of Winds, which is, is fairly forgettable. And there's the other great track of the album, Fearless which uh, features the Liverpool Cop Choir singing You'll Never Walk Alone, which ensured it got played by John Peel quite a lot. So, medal by Pink Floyd.